Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Prince George's future title from William might be tainted with bad luck. Prince George could inherit one of Prince William's titles which the Queen gave him as a wedding present which has been deemed unlucky in the past. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Prince William was given a few titles by the late Queen as a wedding gift back in 2011 when he tied the knot with Kate Middleton. Members of the royal family are bestowed with usually important official titles and styles that date back centuries. But what fans may not realize is royals such as Kate, Princess of Wales or Sophie, Countess of Wessex, do not just have one title but several titles. For example, King Charles' full and official title is King Charles III by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of his brother and, and of his other realms and territories king, head of commonwealth, defender of the faith. Following the death of the queen, Prince William inherited a number of senior titles from his father and he became the 27th Prince of Wales. However, when Prince William married Kate in 2011, the late queen granted the couple the titles of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge the Earl and Countess of, of Strachan and the Baron and the Lady Carrick Fergus. Why these three titles still belong to him, there is a high chance Prince George will inherit them one day. So why is this? The heir to the Duchy of Cambridge is currently Prince George, but whether or not he will inherit the title depends on when his father inherits the throne from King Charles and when George eventually marries. If Prince George becomes the Prince of Wales earlier than expected, it is possible that Prince Louis could become the next Duke of Cambridge. However, if George inherits his father's title, Louis could become the Duke of York, which is traditionally held by the second son of the monarch. The Duchy of Cambridge was first created during King Charles II's reign in 1660 and Prince William is the eighth person to hold the title. The seven previous Duke of Cambridge were Charles Stuart, James Stuart, Edgar Stuart, Charles Stuart, King George II, Prince Adolphus, and Prince George. The title is tainted by sadness as within 17 years of the title's first creation, there had been four different tragedies associated with the title bearer. During the reign of the King Charles II, that is, 19, um, that is 1660 to 1685, the first Duke of Cambridge was his eldest nephew, Charles Stuart. However, he died at the age of just six months old. The next holder was his younger brother, James Stuart, who was granted a title in 1664. However, tragedy struck when the royal was just three years old, as he died from either smallpox or the, the bubonic plague. The king then made his third oldest nephew, Edgar Stuart, the Duke of Cambridge in 1667, but he died at the age of just three. The fourth title holder was their younger brother, Charles Stuart, who once again died very young, at just 35 days old. The title was not used again until 1706, when Queen Anne made George Augustus, that is the future King George II, the fifth Duke of Cambridge. The title was then, you know, reissued by King George III to his seventh son, Prince Adolphus in 1801. The title eventually passed to the prince's son, Prince George, in 1850 and became extinct after his death in 1904 as his marriage and had violated the Royal Marriages Act of 1772 ahead of his wedding to Sophie Rhys Jones in 1999. It was reported that Prince Edward has offered the Dukedom of Cambridge by his mother, the Queen but he was said to have turned it down in favor of becoming the Earl of Wessex. This is because he reportedly wished to be named after the Lord Wessex character from his favorite film Shakespeare in Love. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.